Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. The hanging tag off of this 57 Chevy. Uh, this is a Bel Air Pro Touring model. It's got two hanging tags because there are so many items on the car. I'll do my best to, to try to run through the features and the amount of detail and restoration that's gone into this car. Um, I got it from uh, somebody who spent a long time building it. He didn't want anybody to know that uh, he was selling it, so uh, he sold it far away from where he lived uh, and is in the process of building another one. So uh, this car here had a lot of love and personal attention. It was built by a person, you know, not to sell. Uh, it was uh, a show car. It's been on the Hot Rod Power Tour. Um, comes with multiple trophies. It's a pretty exciting car. So let's take a walk around. Uh, it took him about two years to build this car. Um, starting with just body and paint and uh, there's no no plastic no filler all steel car paint is spectacular it's called shark skin metallic a lot of metal flake in it and it really looks great especially in the sunlight but it's just got a great color got power disc brakes all new chrome and stainless we have electric wipers just take a look at the chrome these three-piece bumpers you can get them done in triple plated chrome and that's what these are these are the expensive triple plated chrome a couple things uh, under the hood this car here has was was a show car so he had installed a few things it has an inside hood release and then under the hood here it's got a safety catch it's kind of hidden and this where it could take a little bit to go over the car i'll start at the front with you everything is either powder coated painted color matched or high quality pieces for instance like look at the size of the fan Nice big aluminum radiator, Griffin aluminum radiator, not a cheap aftermarket radiator. Polished powerhouse horns, billet overflow bottle, custom fan shroud, Optima battery. Beautiful wiring job. The reason I say something about the wiring is this car has factory navigation, it has a DVD player, it has a TV player, it has, uh, and it's all built into the dash and it's motorized the way it pops up out of the center of the dash and I'll show you how that works. It's actually very, very cool. Anyway, this is ZZ4 crate motor with aluminum heads and fuel injection. So there's no pumping the gas. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, hot or cold. It's a great thing about Edelbrock fuel injection is you hit the key, it fires up and it goes. Has air conditioning and modern heat. So you get uh, some of the comforts of driving this car. Has uh, high output coils, awesome air cleaner, k and filter, March pulleys. Everything is just super, super high quality. Power disc brakes with brake adjustment. This has a 200 R4. Four-speed automatic transmission. The reason it doesn't have a 700 R4 is people have now found that the 200 R4 is actually, with a couple updates, stronger than a 700 R4. And that's why most street riders are now going with the 200 R4 with anything over 400 horsepower. This is est est estimated at around 400 horsepower with the fuel injection, which is a very nice addition. I gotta tell you, I've driven this car. It just makes such a great driving experience. No pumping the gas, no worrying about whether it's hot or whether it's cold. Let's move on into the inside of the car. I have to tell you that the inside of the car is spectacular. If you thought that this is great, this is a bonus here. Come on, I'll walk you to the front. This is where, uh, you know, the comfort we talked about, the heating and air conditioning system, the power disc brakes, the power steering, uh, the four-speed automatic transmission so that you could have some performance and get some gas mileage out of the car with the fuel injection. Then it moves up another notch. We have Cadillac. Eldorado bucket seats, their power. We also have power windows. And they're pretty deep tinted glass, looks very nice. Nice features in here like tilt wheel, digital electronic shift indicator, full auto meter gauges, heating and air conditioning, the keyless entry and alarm. This also has air suspension. We can lower the front and the back. And we can actually program the remote so that when you get out of the car, you hit the remote, it lowers the car down. Also make sure that it fills the tank up in the back so as soon as you hit the key, it raises the car right back up and off you go. But this is a pretty cool look. Let me close the door just so you can see. It's slammed. You can't drive it like this because it's a little low and the ride would be really rough so you'd have to go really slow. But you could cruise really slow through a parking lot like this, and this is a hot look. This is a navigation and sound system. It's hidden here in the dash. Nice touches and nice features on this car. Just tilt it back, and it turns on that. And the sound system is absolutely killer in this car. I'll show you where the amps are, the subwoofers, a lot of hidden speakers, and you have satellite, TV, video disc player, DVD player, radio. 
first leap. And you can also listen to the radio on and hide that and just kind of cruise. It comes with remotes for the sound system or the DVD players. And you can also just turn it off with a switch right here. It's hidden. There's a couple neat features in this car that, uh, that a lot of people overlook. Modern vanity mirrors and they're lit with the extra sunshade that you'd pull across. Look at these lights in here. Handles built in. Check this out. Custom built rear bench seat with headrests. The satellite antennas are back there in the window as well as DVD and TV antennas. How about we go ahead and start this and hear what it sounds like. It does sound great. By the way, this car is only showing 1,640 miles since it was done. And that is the accurate mileage on the complete restoration of this car. So you're getting a pretty spectacular new car. Here's your XM radio, Sirius antenna radio there. Check out this trunk, beautifully done. Amps are lined up nicely, custom made carpets with gray piping. Even the inside well there is covered in leather. DVD player and CD changer, your choice. But everything goes in one unit. Beautiful chrome and stainless and exhaust. The car is just really very nice. Strange engineering rear end, billet specialties wheels, great looking. Nicely done, they've held up well. They're 18s, steering column as I did it. It's billet with tilt wheel, we talked about that. Billet Specialties three spoke steering wheel. Just really nice. You know, we could keep going on and on about this video. I think you need to either come see the car or you need to purchase the car before it's gone. We just got it. Uh, I expect to enjoy this car myself this weekend. Hopefully somebody doesn't get it before I get into it. Um, it's comfortable, it's powerful. You can cruise uh, for hours in this car and uh, the build quality is really, uh, you can see somebody poured an enormous amount of money in this car, and you're really getting it for, for half of, of what somebody has in it. So uh, we're very proud to present this car, this 57 Chevy, with Fleming's Ultimate Garage, 301-816-1000.